Let's start off by selecting these foreground people. We can go to Select and Subject, and in a couple of seconds, Photoshop will recognize the people and make a selection from them. Let's make a new layer from that and add our text. And we'll move our text behind the cutout layer. We'll go to 3D, New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. I'll hide the 3D panel, and let's use the global controls to spin it around, bring it closer to the camera, and move the ground plane down. It's a bit too deep, so let's reduce the extrusion amount in the Properties panel. We'll hide all of the other layers and render this 3D object. Here's the finished render, so let's select all, make a merged copy of it, and now paste. Now we can turn back on our other layers and bring it down to where we want. The cutouts aren't perfect, so let's load this layer as a selection by command or control clicking on its thumbnail, and let's make a layer mask to hide that selection on our text layer. We can now zoom in and adjust any inconsistencies in the original subject selection. Let's tint the text to match the background by adding a little bit of blue And let's add a shadow. We can load our mask as a selection, inverse it, and make a new layer. We'll sample a colour from the background, fill the shadow with that colour, deselect, make a clipping mask with a layer beneath, and now move it over to the side and reduce the opacity to about 30%.